What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Val again, and welcome. Um, I'm in Shags at my grandma's place, and I've just seen the goats and sheep are coming in. So let me show you. Also, these cows, guys. It's really dry because it's um we we've just started August and this place rains from around from around October there. So today it's looking like this. So those are the and I will show you where they sleep, guys. Come with me. So for the cows, uh, I mean for the, I don't know what they've seen exciting on that side. So they are running, but let me show you. So this is where the goats and sheep sleep. It's a bit dark, uh, but that's how it looks. The floor is black because it's full of the poop, the, the goat and sheep poop. And they have enough aeration. The windows are mesh like that, like that. And the other side like that. And then I'm going to show you um, the place where they cook their meals here because they use firewood. So I'll show you how it's, um, how the, the, the space is done to place the soufflé on top. So this is how the kitchen looks like. This kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the pro for using this space so this is the kitchen she's, she's cooking ugali yeah. they're speaking tighter mana <laughs> Hey, in <laughs> and then I want to show you the place they, I mean, how they fix their taps here in charge so that when water is full, it doesn't just go to the to this dry, dry um, soils. So this is how their taps look like. They build like a small uh, um foundation and they fix the tap in between so that when you're fetching your water uh, your basins don't soak in the mud and then they have to have a lot of storage here guys since as you can see it gets really dry so this is what they use this is like i don't know i, I will read on the other side this thing if it's like five thousand liters or something so this is their water storage. Okay, anyway, it doesn't have any writings. So that's fine. I want to show you also um, how they protect their banana trees here from the cattle. So this is how it's done. This is a banana tree and it's surrounded by the um, thorns thorn trees so that the cows sheep and goats don't go in even the chicken because they have to water them especially when it's this dry they have to be watered every day and next i think i will show you where the birds live here guys so i'm standing in front of this this tree this is actually a christmas tree so in december hopefully when i come back here i will show you how it um produces very beautiful flowers and 
also the leaves guys it's like the christmas trees that we buy and then let me show you these are the thorn trees they use sometimes when they want to fence um some places but i'll show you how they've done their fence and guys this is where the birds live here i hope you can see it clearly here we call them vijungula so let me show you their fencing and the gates so this is the fencing as you can see the thorns and this is the type of mesh they use in shags mostly so that their chicken don't escape from the compound and stuff like that yeah so guys thank you so so much for hanging hanging out with me today and i'll see you next time and before i close this let me show you again that um the tighter hills again yeah so thank you until next time